Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome again to the Screw It Yourselfer. I'm Alex, and I'm going to screw it up. Uh, but you probably already guessed that. Uh, today, uh, I have just gotten done painting the new laundry room. Uh, I got really, really tired of the drywall process, the mudding and taping, sanding, mudding, taping, sanding, mudding, taping, you know, and I just was really bad at it. Well, I was, I just wasn't detail oriented enough, I suppose, I just wasn't patient enough. So, I uh, decided to do something just a little bit different, and brace yourself, because this is just a little bit out of the ordinary. You might want to turn down the brightness on your screen because this is the color that I picked. This is like a sunburst yellow. It's it's like lemon or mustard. I wanted a nice bright room, and I think I'm blowing out the pixels in your uh, in your computer right now. But uh, uh, forget about the color for a second. Take a look at the texture. Just, we decided to do a, a textured wall, so I got my niece and my sister in here, and we were all slapping mud on the wall and basically kind of finger painting with it. Well, why not? Uh, I don't know if you can see the texture from there, but this is what we did. Look at that. My niece did this wall over here. That looks pretty neat. I don't know if the detail comes out too well on that. But there you go, there it is. This wall isn't consistent, but we'll fix it later. I used a whole full bucket of mud plus some. And so I ran out, so it's not finished. Need to put more on. And uh, we'll do that later. And uh, you know, if you get right up on it, yeah, it looks like finger painting, but you get, a, you, get, you, get, you get back from it. And, uh, you know, it looks all right. I mean, it's you don't have a flat, smooth wall, which is just fine with me. You can see right here, right here is the middle of the wall, and this is where the uh, seam between two sheets of drywall are. And it's just such a pain in the ass to mud and tape, and sand and mud and tape and get it smooth. Just got sick of the whole fucking process, so... You know, slap the mud, let it dry, and it looks like I missed a spot with some paint right there. Well, I'll touch that up. But there it is. It is a small room, but it is pretty bright. So bright it's kind of, I don't know. I could say it's hard on the eyes, but it's not really. It's actually kind of kind of lifting kind of lifting it's very 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 bright which is what I was going for and just as a little uh, cheap uh, money saver note here I decided uh, a neighbor of mine had told me Michael he uh, I, I, he's, he I mentioned talking to the paint guy at, at Lowe's and he said oh yeah you gotta have drywall primer on new drywall and then he put paint over that and Michael was telling me well why didn't you just get him to tint primer just put that on the wall and he said he did that I was like well you know the professionals say that you're supposed to put primer on the wall and then paint over that well I'm sure the professionals say that for a reason I, uh, maybe the uh, Maybe the coating will last longer, or won't peel. I don't know. Primer doesn't peel because that's you know what primer does. It doesn't peel. It's a it's a glue between the drywall and the, and the, and the finish coat. So basically, I had them. Well, in order for them at Lowe's to mix this color, they put in enough tint to actually fill up the bucket because they, you know, they couldn't put any more tin in it and they didn't get close to the color I picked, which is fine. I knew it was going to be kind of light, but I think it came out all right. Uh, I, I like it anyway. 
I, I like kind of a pea soup, I suppose. Yeah. You know, honestly, I think it was about, it wasn't even 30 bucks for the bucket of paint. Primer, drywall primer. It was not even 30 bucks for a five gallon bucket. And they tinted it for free, of course. And I used a gallon and a half, maybe. You know, and that's about a pint that I spilled on the floor. Uh, well, it's a small room, so I didn't use that much, but still it was cheaper than buying regular drywall primer and then two gallons of, you know, regular paint. I mean, you know, 30 bucks for five gallons of paint, you know, drywall primer anyway. Tinted drywall primer. I may try that again. Next time I think I might try red. I'm not sure where I'm going to paint the red. And they're not going to be able to tint it very dark. But they also said they weren't going to be able to tint this very dark. And it's honestly pretty dark. Pretty dark tint. Uh, let's see. This is a dry area right here. And this is going to be the finished color. So I am not unhappy with the result. And uh, to give you an idea what it's going to look like. Okay. You walk in this door. There's going to be a bank of cabinets. Over there where you see the stub out, so uh, we're going to have a utility sink, cabinets along this wall, and of course upper cabinets to go with it, and probably an upper cabinet over the utility sink over here. Of course I got, I got three plugs in here, which I'm thinking is probably not necessary. Three in a laundry room? What are you going to plug in on the laundry room? Well, you never know, but they're there just in case. I mean, what, an iron? Who the hell irons clothes anymore? I don't. Uh, maybe uh, some kind of motorized automatic cat box. How about that? Although I found out that putting a cat box in a laundry room where it's near the dryer, the dryer draws in air from the room and then discharges the hot air outside. If the litter box is not clean, your clothes are going to smell like cat shit. Not very happy about that, but so I'm thinking maybe I should not put the litter box in here, but uh, that's another story. What the hell else do you put it in the bathroom? There ain't no room in there. I don't know. But, uh, uh, that's all for now, I guess. Next time, uh, I'll shoot a video in which the, uh, cabinets are in and the room is uh, somewhat finished. I still got to cut a hole for the dryer vent. Oh, there's one thing I forgot to show you. I textured the ceiling as well. I don't know if you can see that. But, uh, you know, that's basically just... Yeah, and this right here is not that good a job. I need to fix that. I'll probably go over the ceiling. You know, some more mud. That's just basically thinned out mud that I rolled on with a roller. Uh, the guy that built this house did that out here, but I think he mixed mud with paint. But, you know, screw it. Sorry about that. Thinned out mud I think works as well. Now well, that's about eight minutes. So, you know, uh, until I see you next time, or until you see me next time, because I can't see you, uh, get some work done and try not screwed up. Bye.